Okay, so I'm gonna walk through setting up communication between the EG4 Life Power 4 battery and the EG4 3000 inverter charger. So just gonna run through this quick and then at the end I'll talk about why I found it confusing. But to start, make sure your battery is off, inverter is off, solar is off, and then make sure that all of these dip switches, all four of them are down. The inverter comes with two different cables. Use the one that says RJ45 pin one, two. That's the only one that will work. Plug the ethernet side into the left port on the battery. And then the USB looking side, plug into the RS485 port here on the inverter. So at this point, you can turn on the battery. Now you can flip on your inverter. And now you're gonna wanna go in to the menu so press and hold. We're gonna go down to setting five and make sure we're set on LI4. Hit enter, hit escape, and then you should be able to see if the communication is working correctly, you should see the LI symbol next to the battery on the display. Okay, so now for some complaints. So it, the inverter comes with two different cables. One of them is labeled RJ45 pin seven and eight. The other one is one and two. I wasted a bunch of time trying to get it to work with this one. I figured they just gave you an extra cable, but they are actually different. So yeah, use the one that says pin one, two. Another thing that's confusing in the manual, it, it tells you to put one, two, three, four, on the dip switch into the off position and off equals down. That makes sense, but the image is confusing because if you look at the dip switches on the battery, the switches that you move up and down are white. So it seemed, when I saw this, at first I tried to put all of the white on the top, but it's actually trying to indicate, put them on the bottom because the black is on the bottom, I guess. I feel like that image could be improved to clear up confusion. Another thing that's confusing, so if you follow the steps, it walks you through the process of setting it up. So it says, use the RS485 cable to connect to the inverter and battery, switch on the battery, turn on the inverter. And then right here, it says, be sure to select battery type LI2 in LCD program five. Using that setting does not work. And I don't know why it's listed there. If you look into the LCD settings for setting number five, battery type, you can see that LI4 is the EG4 protocol, and this is the only one that works. So I don't know if that was just a typo, but yeah, really frustrating that following the manual will not work. And also it just doesn't show that there's two different cables. It doesn't specify that, but hopefully that helps someone get their battery and inverter communicating.